to repairing lawnmowers for profit. In this video I'm going to review this Mountfield MC380 Li cordless lawnmower. I'm going to show you around this lawnmower, show you some of the basic features on it. I'm also going to take it outside and do a test cut on this actual mower so you can see it actually in operation. I've done a video on this already, an assembly video showing you how to set it up. If you want to see that there's a card in the top right hand corner of your screen now here on YouTube. There's also a link in the description to where you can see the assembly video. So for now let's get started. I'm going to show you this lawnmower hopefully in under five minutes. So this lawnmower is a cordless lawnmower, it comes actually with two batteries that you can fit. So it's a great feature because when one runs out you can simply lift up this cover here and you can flick it between battery 1 and battery 2. There's also this visual guide on the top so you can see the batteries and when it's in use these little indicators on the batteries light up. If you're wondering how much is left on the battery you can press the little button on the top, the battery will light up. In this occasion it's two lights out of three, so you're pretty good to go. You don't need both batteries in this lawnmower to run it, you only need one. If you have two in it doesn't go any faster, you don't get any more power, but it just means if you run out you can quickly flick it between number two battery and number one battery. When you're finished as a safety feature, this should be set to zero, you can pull this safety key out and put this somewhere safe. This lawnmower is a 38 centimetre cutting width on it. It has a 45 litre grass collector. It also has a safety feature built in at the side. Now you must press this button here before you lift this lever for it to start. As previously mentioned, it comes with two batteries. If you press on the top of the battery, it actually tells you how many lights you've got. That's two out of three. If you want to charge this, it comes with this handy battery charger. You just simply drop it in here and it'll start charging your battery. So fitting the battery is really simple, just pull it out the charger, lift up this little flap here like this, just drop the battery in, it just drops in like that and it'll click when you press this down, that's all you need to do. If I wanted to switch from battery compartment 1 to 2, I can flick the switch and it'll use all the battery up in 2. When that one's run out, I can simply switch it to 1 and take it out and as I've previously said, you don't need both the batteries in here to actually start and operate this lawnmower, it will run with one in at exactly the same power as it would if there was two. To remove the batteries, simply pinch these silver tabs at the side and the battery lifts out, this closes on its own, place the battery back in the charger. This mower actually features these quick release handles which is great. These handles actually go down inside this plastic at the bottom, a lot of people get that wrong. These are quick release handles so you can quickly undo these, you can lie this handle here flat across the front and then this one goes back across itself so you've only got this width if you want to actually maximize the storage in your shed or your garage. So the mower's height adjustable, you've got six cutting positions here which is actually ranging between two and a half centimeters to seven and a half centimeters. These indicate 25 millimeters up to 75. Single point height adjustable so you just put this where you want and it drops the whole deck down. There's no actual alter in each wheel individually. Really nice feature having a single point height adjuster like that. Now the advantage of a mower like this having a battery in it is if you don't have the cord behind you, the electrical cord, you have the little cord coming up the side of here but that's it. It's purely run on the battery so you're not tangling cords around behind you. You haven't got any of the hassle of starting or maintaining a petrol lawnmower. And of course with it being so small you can just pick this up and move it about with one hand. Very versatile to move about and put in your car. Probably ideal for anybody who's got a caravan looking to take a little lawnmower away with them and do a little area of grass or if you've just got a small garden that this is actually an ideal lawnmower for that. So to start the mower up I've only got one battery in. You can see there I'm on number one. So I'm going to turn this to number one. I'm going to go here. You have to press this in here. You should press the side button in there. When you do that you can pull this lever up and this actual lawnmower will start. When you release the lever it will stop and it won't go by just pulling the lever so there's this little safety feature you must make sure this button's pressed in first. So these are all the booklets and leaflets you'll get with this lawnmower. There's two confirmation certificates, one for the mower, one for the battery charger. You've got a full operating instruction with uh, clear to follow diagrams on as well in there which is really nice to see. You've got the actual book there for the batteries that shows you everything you need to know and the battery charger and of course you've got your owner's record warranty registration card here so you can send this off to Mountfield and you can get your warranty. One really great feature is when this is actually charging your battery if you press on the top it'll actually tell you how far it's got it'll tell you there you're at two bars out of three and when you let go it carries on with the charging icon and you've got this green flashing battery charger symbol here that tells you that this battery's charging. So let's take this lawnmower outside I'm going to do a test cut on some grass at my own house I'm going to show you 
how well it operates, show you the power it's got and I'll show you how well it collects up these grass clippings in the back of this grass box as well. I'm just going to film the underside of the mower, I know a lot of people like to see what is exactly under here so while everything's disconnected this is the underside of the mower there's no rear roller on these lawn mowers it's just the uh, wheels there's also no self drive on the rear wheels these are just push mowers you just push them along in the description of this video you'll see there is a link to where you can purchase this actual lawn mower and also a link to the Mountfield website where you can look at further detail on this as well and I think this is an ideal setup for a cordless lawn mower having the two batteries I really like the fact that if one runs out you can quickly flick it over to the other battery much better than pulling the lawnmower up and having to cut the rest of the grass at a later date. So I'm just going to cut my grass at the front here, apologies for the wind, it is a little bit windy today. I'm going to drop this onto the, uh, the third height sitting on here, which is 45, I'm going to cut this grass, let's see what we get. show you the length of grass I'm cutting this uh, isn't too long but you can see obviously the difference here between the cut side and the uncut side so it's um, fairly long it's not having any problems power wise getting through this and it's doing a reasonably neat job as well it's certainly really easy to push along anyway very lightweight inside just see how much grass that's lifted off there you can see there that grass box is actually quite full and it's not completely dry out today either so it's a little bit damp is the grass but you can see how finely it's chopped it up it's done a really nice job of that actually I'm really happy with that result and as you'd expect on a, a lawn that size it's uh, not really taken too much out with this mower easily did the job on there and I'm imagining it would do next door as well probably half of the street the power of it was uh, great, it doesn't slow down at all even when you get into some of the thicker stuff and it's really good for going round uh, like really neat to edges like round this tree stump here I've got in the garden did a good job of taking all that off of there as well so I hope you've enjoyed this short review video please feel free to subscribe and tick the bell notification as well I hope it's helped anybody out leave me a comment if you want to know anything about this particular lawnmower as well thanks for watching, hope to see you again on the channel next time